Rini Kulen insists he won't make a song and dance about taking charge of Rosenborg despite the protest party in Trondheim against his appointment. Dutchman Kulen has been named interim boss ahead of tonight's Champions League clash with Celtic after Karen Gebrigsen's shock sacking following last week's first round win against Valor. Rosenborg players and fans reacted with fury at the dismissal and singer Terst Iceland, Norway's answer to Rod Stewart, led the protests outside the ground on Monday night where he was joined on stage by the outgoing gaffer. Former boss Karen Gebrigsen and assistant Eric Hoffman are serenaded outside the Lurk and All Stadium. Kulen has stepped into the storm and while the club shut down any talk of the mayhem behind the scenes, the former Twente coach admitted it has been a bonkers few days. He said, I didn't think I would be here, but football can be strange. I was not celebrating when the situation came about, but I am honored to be asked to take over. I've been working hard with the players over the last few days. It has been hectic, but that's what happens in football. The job is to prepare the players for this game. That's it. It's worked very well and we will see, Rosenborg trained at Celtic Park on Tuesday Kulen insisted he was prepared for Parkhead, despite not watching Rosenborg's encounters with Celts last season or being able to name the Hoops Dangerman. He said, I don't think what I know is relevant. It's about style of play and what we can expect than the history or the names in the team. I hope my boys go out and enjoy it because they have worked hard to get to this level. I can't say specific names at Celtic. It could be anyone. But it won't affect our game plan. Kulen's last job was in charge of Aruba in the Caribbean and he confessed playing in front of a handful of fans is a million miles away to walking out in front of 60,000 at Celtic Park. Skipper Mike Jensen remained tight-lipped over the affair he said, I was working as director of the academy in Aruba and part of the duties were taking the national team. I enjoyed it. I can't compare that atmosphere to Celtic Park though, Rosenborg captain Mike Jensen refused to discuss the player revolt following Inge Brigsen's departure. The squad released a statement demanding the binned boss was reinstated but the plea was denied by the Trondheim board. Jensen was tight-lipped but he reckons Celtic are big favourites. He said, we played Europa League and they played Champions League, and they beat us. Celtic is a bigger club and it's an advantage to them that the first game is here. But we're looking forward to the game.